Well, hello everyone and welcome to Facebook Friday on Thursday. So uh, I know this is really last minute um, notice. This is a last minute decision. I just wanted to say hello to everyone because I have not been on Facebook Live uh, since before May 1st. I have been gone and out of the office actually quite a bit this month. Um, I was only in the office four days this entire month. So I miss all of you. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Deborah. Yay, it's nice to see your faces. Say hello. Give me a thumbs up if you're coming in. But I really wanted to say hi and also share with you some great things that um, I've learned this month in, in my journeys and my travels, but I also want to share with you some of the uh, key tips that I've been sharing with other administrative professionals. Hi Dee, hi Melanie, woohoo, it's so great to be back on Facebook Live. So anyways, really quick, uh, the last, oh my gosh, yeah, the whole month of May I've had several trips. So I was in Orlando in early May and I went there basically for some personal time to just relax, but also to reconnect with my friends at Walt Disney World. So I don't know if you remember, but last summer I taught my Star Achievement Series program there. I was there, oh my God, I had six trips in six months. I got very, very close to all my participants. So kind of went back for a reunion with them. Thank you, Juanita. Yes, I'm excited about a new hairdo. That's the other thing I did. I decided to change it up and mix my, you know, just do something different, which makes me feel really good. Um, anyways, I was in Orlando and I got to have a lot of personal time, which was fun, but also to reconnect with my star students. We had a blast together. And I also got to connect with some of my HR executives that I had worked on the program with. And I can't tell you how great it made me feel to reconnect. So I think, thank you, Dawn. I think that's one lesson right there that I wanna share with you. It's really important to stay in contact with people who you care about, who you've had friendships with, you know, we get so busy with life and before we know it, months pass and years pass. So the one thing I learned is to reach out. You reach out. You know, we need to reach out. Don't wait for others. And like I said with my Orlando trip, thank you very much about the hair. Yes, if you like my hair, give me a, a thumbs up. But with my Orlando trip, I, I didn't wait, you know, for them to bring me back to Orlando. I just knew I missed everyone. I needed to see them. And I scheduled the trip on my very own. Thank you, thank you. So, and then um, I wasn't gone, let's see, I was only back for a day and a half and then I headed off to Columbus, Ohio to Nationwide Insurance where I taught our Star Achievement Series program. So um, and I'm gonna share a few tips with you on that very shortly. I also had a fabulous trip to Baltimore. I had four days of personal family time. I connected with family that I haven't seen in 20 years. Um, and I also attended a wedding. And I also then spoke at Johns Hopkins University, which I wanna share with you some tips that I taught at Johns Hopkins. And then I came back from there and I'd been on vacation for six days. I had family from Ohio visiting me. So not that you need to know my whole itinerary, but I have points to make from everything I've been doing in the month of May. So first of all, when I spoke at Johns Hopkins University up in Baltimore, it was fabulous. It was a big administrative event. And um, I was a keynote speaker and I spoke on be a star achieving assistant. And so one of the things I cover in that speech is why should you care about being a star in your profession? You know, why should you care about excellence? Why should you care about reaching for the stars, right? Well, there are seven reasons, but I'm gonna give you three that I wanna share with you today that I think are really important. 
Um, one is on ceasing change. Things are moving at such a fast pace today, so fast, like minute to minute, that you have to continually grow and learn and be the best that you can be. You have to be able to adapt to change. You have to be able to deal with change. You have to be able to have, be tough skinned in dealing with all this change, be flexible, be agile. So that's one reason why you always have to be, you know, learning and growing and trying to be the best that you can be. Let's see, Dan, Dana, Dana Yella. I'm not sure how to say your last name. I'm sorry. Another reason why you should want to be a star achieving assistant is because it's a competitive marketplace. It's very competitive. If you, something happened and you had to be out on the street looking for a new job, well, first of all, the unemployment rate is the lowest it has ever been. So the idea here is that you should always uh, up level. You should always be learning again and growing because it is a competitive marketplace. And some of you might be saying, well, I'm not looking for a job. But you know what? That doesn't mean something isn't going to happen to your job, that something isn't going to happen to your position, or that your company isn't going to go through reorganization or change. I mean, it's happening all the time here in Las Vegas. MGM just laid off a thousand people a few weeks ago, and today they announced they're laying off 500. Now, the interesting thing is the economy is very, very good but they want to operate more lean. They want to be more profitable, probably. So, and the other thing I want to say is, um, those of you who even are thinking, well, I'm going to retire in a year, so why should I care? I just want to coast. Again, don't assume that everything's going to be the same because something could change in your personal life. You know, something could happen to your spouse or your parents or your children and all of a sudden you don't have that luxury to just leave when you want to so i want to encourage you another the third reason i want to share with you why you need to reach for the stars is because executives have higher expectations of their assistants today yes they do because they call us that's why office dynamics is still around and thriving after 29 years of being in business. It's because more and more executives are calling us in to train their assistants. And these are assistants who are skilled, who are seasoned. And management is saying they're not operating at the highest level. They're not operating at the level we want them or need them to operate at. The executives are moving so fast today that they need you to keep pace with them. And that's actually why I started Office Dynamics. So that's why I started my training company, because I felt there wasn't anything robust for assistants to keep with the pace of change in their careers as their executives did. So, Melissa, yes, every job is temporary, some more so than others. Yes, that's correct. So um, I won't read your whole comment, but thank you, Melissa, it's true. And the other uh, phrase I like to say is um, every day you're interviewing for your job. Every day you're interviewing for your job. Just because you have this job does not today doesn't mean you're gonna have it tomorrow. All right, so if you're just tuning in, I've been sharing just some ideas and tips of what I've been uh, involved in the, the whole month of May, really, and some of the teachings I've been doing and speaking. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. I'll tell you why I'm looking divine. I'm looking divine for a couple reasons. One is because I have taken off more personal family time in this month than I have in probably three or four years. And I wanna to talk to you about that in a little while. The other, I love having a new hairdo. You know, I've had the same hairdo for quite a while. So women, I wanna tell you, just changing up a hairdo sure makes you feel lively. <laughs> All right, I also wanna share some other tips because I want this to be meaty for you. Today, I did a live class 
on getting control of your day. It was an hour class. I just finished it. And um, what I want to share with you, because prioritizing and getting control of your work is an issue for assistance everywhere. So three tips I want to share with you today. Number one, it starts with your mind, getting control of your day, of your work your tasks, your projects, it starts up here, not with the tools you use. They're just tools. If your mind isn't in the right place, if your brain isn't in the right place that I need to take control of my day, even when chaos breaks out, I need to manage that. The tools don't matter. So it starts, like I said, in your head, it starts with your thinking about wanting to have that control. And I don't mean you're gonna control what happens because we had, we've had chaos all morning today here. It's when it happens, how do you deal with it? The second strategy is to use the ABC prioritization system. That's what we have used in my office for years. A means something has to be done within 48 hours. No, sorry, 24 hours. B is um, we need that item to be done in three or four days. And our C priorities are maybe the next 30 days. Hi, Celeste. So as you are assigned tasks and things to work on or things come into your own email maybe, you want to think A, one, does it need to be within 24 hours? It's an A item. Hi from Chicago, I hope you have good weather there. Then within your A's, you're gonna determine A1, A2, A3. B items, like I said, are in the next three or four days, and C items, if you think, well, I don't really need to do this, it needs to get done, but if I do it within the next month, it's fine, it becomes your C item. The third thing I wanna really share with you, a secret tip that is a great secret weapon when people are delegating tasks to you, don't ask how soon do you need it? Everybody always says, well, how soon do you need this? And then they all tell you, well, as soon as possible. Don't ask that question anymore. Switch your question and you'll get a different answer. Ask, by when is the latest I can get this to you? By what date do you need to have this? Because now someone might think, well, gee, as a manager, I really don't need that till next Monday for a meeting I have at 8.30. So if you get it to me by Friday at three o'clock, that would be great. If you learn to get people to give you the drop dead date that they need something, it's going to help you with your prioritizing and you're not gonna feel like everything is urgent. The next question to ask yourself, when you're trying to determine, let's say you have three A items in front of you right now, and you're like, oh my gosh, but what do I do first? What's the A1? What's the A2? What's the A3? Ask yourself, what's the impact if I don't do this? My secret question is, if I had to leave in one hour, something happened, I had to leave this office in one hour, and I couldn't come back to work for three days, what is the impact of not doing something? That's the question to ask yourself. All right, the big lesson I learned this month, a big lesson for me, as I told you, I, I took a lot of personal time this month. It just turned out that's how it was. So I had my trip to Orlando for a couple days, which was a lot of fun with a little work. Um, I went to Baltimore and visited cousins I hadn't seen in 20 years and we were there for a wedding and I just spent six days hosting my sister and my brother-in-law were here from Ohio. They haven't been here. Hi, Amy. Oh, Amy, Amy. I'm so glad you're on. Anyway, they have not been in Las Vegas for eight years. I took all six days off. I didn't even pay attention to work. And I was a tour guide and I was a vacationer in my own town. 
And we did everything. We went out to Red Rock Canyon. We went down onto the strip. We laughed. We went to the spa. We just had a ball. So the lesson I want to share with you, this is really, really important, is to make time to truly relax, to truly disconnect, truly disconnect to absorb yourself in the moment with your family, with your friends, to love life in the moment. And don't worry about work. You have to totally get away because I am like a fireball now. I have come back so rejuvenated, so energized, so fulfilled, so whatever. I mean, I feel like I'm on fire and in a good way, in a really, really good way. So I want to really encourage you. You can't afford to not disconnect, to not make time for each other. Do you know, and I, I wasn't planning to say this, but this July, it'll be five years since I had my brain surgery. Five years ago in July, I had a massive tumor in my skull, which many of you may not know about. I had a 10 hour surgery. I was in the hospital for two weeks. I had to stay in California for a whole month. I had bacterial meningitis and we thought I was gonna die. I had a great surgery, obviously good surgeons um, and I get monitored every year. And so I'm here to personally tell you you need to enjoy every single day and you need to embrace life, you know, and love each other and just, you know, have a good time once in a while. Don't be so caught up and intense because if you could take your break, you're going to go back to your work more energized, more enthused, more giving. And you're gonna be nicer to people too. Yes, five years, D. yes. All right. I know I've taken a lot of your time, but I haven't like talked to you in so long. So just a couple things. I wanna tell you what's coming up on the horizon. Um, so if you wanna stay in for just a few more minutes, we are just announcing, you're, you're really the only the second people to know this, because I just announced it on my Live E class is we're gonna take our world-class assistant course to Dallas this September. We, we're just announcing it to the public next week. You're the first to know this. So our world-class assistant designation course, three days certification course, we're going to take to Dallas September 25th to the 27th. Um, and then let's see, we have a world-class assistant in Las Vegas, September 25th to the 27th. We have a few seats left and we have San Jose, which we're doing. I don't know if you even know, cause we just announced San Jose we're having in June and we have three seats left. So that's what's going on with live classes. Um, on, let's see, I'm looking at my notes cause I have so much to tell you on June 6th, we're going to have another free webinar. My guest is Chrissy Civic. Um, She's fabulous, she's phenomenal. She was an executive assistant. Now she's a speaker, a writer, she's awesome. And she's gonna talk to us about systems thinking as an administrative professional. She's gonna explain what systems thinking is and why it's important and how it can help you deal with change. And Chrissy's also gonna be a speaker at our conference in October. So when we do that webinar, we're gonna have a special announcement for conference, $200 off registration and all kinds of other goodies we're gonna throw in there. And the last thing I wanna say is, I should be back on schedule now with Facebook Friday Lives, except tomorrow because I have another live class I have to do tomorrow. But I only have one trip in June, one trip in July, so, um, and my, my future Facebooks shouldn't take so long. It's just because I was away for a while. Anyways, I'm so glad those of you who have showed up, those of you who watch the replay, and uh, I hope you're all doing really well. Take care of yourselves. Have the rest of a good week. 
and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.